My name's Nev Hyman, I've got a black eye. That's from surfing Kira the other day and um, got whacked by my board. Yeah, I, I make surfboards. Um, I've been doing that for close to 50 years, can you believe it? And I've been surfing all my life in exotic places around the world and enjoying that. And I founded Nev Future Shape Surfboards and Firewire Surfboards. So I'm very proud of all that. My whole life has been consumed with the ocean, with making surfboards, with being around people that wanted me to make them boards, my craft. I've never had actually a real job, but one of the most exciting times of my life in surfing um, really was in the early 80s when I was traveling the world and surfing some of the most exotic surf spots in the world, places like Jeffreys Bay and Hosagor and the early days of Indonesia. And I'm really happy and proud that I've had that, that amazing opportunity. Some people might say, oh, you're an environmentalist, Nev. No. I never set out to be an environmentalist. I set out to invest in plastic recycling. I don't know why. I was at the, at the time establishing the Firewire surfboard brand and um, I got distracted by the opportunity to be able to do something about plastic waste in the environment. And I remember in 1992, I think it was, I was in New Caledonia and I, I just couldn't believe my eyes. I saw all this plastic waste up washing up on the beach of this little atoll. And uh, I had no idea that there was Pacific gyres of plastic floating around in the ocean and things like that. But in fact, yes, there, wa there was. And um, I found myself with an opportunity to actually try and make a difference. Nev House is a social, economic, and environmental solution to the provision of shelter for those who need it most. Our business plan has always been to take the seven codes of plastic, to have a real solution that can actually make a global impact to the plastic that's in the environment. No matter how much we say plastic is evil, I'm sorry, it's not evil. It is the improper disposal of plastic that's evil. That's the problem. It's not the big companies. It's the individuals around the world that are throwing it into the environment. That's the problem. So we need solutions that take huge volumes of plastic to turn it into something. It's called repurpose by redesign. I started the Nev House journey in early 2013 and our aim was to design a house that could be built in one or two days could uh, have no concrete no rendering no painting so therefore very low maintenance version one of nev house was what we delivered in vanuatu so cyclone pam hit vanuatu in 2015 and we were asked by the vanuatu government to come down to tanner island and provide a solution to the fact that the whole island had been decimated by the, the hurricane. There was no shelter on the island. It was quite a challenge. How did we do it? We did it by compromising the design of Nev House to a point. The design of the house had to be category five rated. So in the event of the next cyclone, people would have a safe house to go to. We completed that scenario and we were very proud of, of, of um, doing that in 2016. Since 2017, we have been focused on the real plan for Nev House, version two of Nev House, which is actually making composite panels from the seven codes of plastic. We can crush and grind and shred that plastic down into a small particle. And what do we do with that? We create the equivalent of a surfboard blank. Nev House's mantra originally was to create shelter for the disadvantaged. Take waste out of the environment to create shelter. I've never really planned any of this, I've let it happen. And what I can really say is, is that go through life with your radar on. Everybody that you will ever meet in life will provide you an opportunity, even if you don't know it at the time. Follow your nose. Keep your radar on. Listen to people. It's not all about you. And just be bold. You have to take risks. I've been taking risks all my life and I've had these sayings on my surfboards. Never say never, never look back. And never mind. <laughs> Sounds corny. But I'm sitting in my Cadillac that I bought in Honolulu for $350 in 1982 after making boards for all these great Hawaiian surfers. So I've just surfed pipeline, not very well, mind you. I've come in and my car's covered in mud. These guys signed on my car, never mind, never say never. And I looked at it and went, you're kidding me, that's perfect. And that's been my mantra over, over my life at least, which is nothing special really, it's just that I never give up, <laughs> I never say never, and I never look back.